I think a lot about the future of Girard College and what I want for our kids, what I want our school to represent and to be. So I'm really pushing for our students to be both school ready and work ready when they leave us. I want them to have cultural competencies, to be able to get along with various people, to be respectful of different religions, ethnicities, races, regions, family structures, because that to me is a part of the cultural competencies that people need to have to be successful leaders in our global society. I want our students to feel confident that they can learn in any environment, that they can figure out how to, if they have a problem, that they can figure out how to solve it or they know how to ask for help. I want our students to be really sound writers and readers and public speakers. Not that I want all of them to give speeches all day long, but for them to feel that when they're asked a question, they can answer it with precision, with grace and eloquence, and with passion. I want my kids also to graduate having interest, being okay with trying new things and experience, but having you know, I sort of like broadcasting, or I'm kind of interested in art, or I want to be a designer, or I really want to be a doctor. But they have had enough exposure that they have some idea that maybe this is something I want to pursue, or just see more about that field. Um, you know, I want my kids to be happy. I want them to learn how to take care of themselves physically and emotionally and spiritually. Um, so we have our Fit Campus initiative. As you know, obesity, childhood obesity is epidemic. Over 25% um, of the United States children are obese. In the African American and Hispanic community, it's um, about 35%. If you live at or below the poverty line, it is so hard for you to be healthy because it costs so much to eat healthy foods. So we're gardening on our campus now. Our kids are learning, our first crop of kale is almost up and ready to eat. Um, we are, the kids are learning how to make healthy, nutritious meals. They are learning how to center themselves, how to take pause from time to time. We, in our first grade, there's a, a, one of our first grade teachers teaches yoga to the kids so that they learn how to just breathe because we all live in chaotic situations. And my kids in particular, oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes come from very chaotic families. It's just tough. And we have to figure out how do you find your peace and just to breathe and to be calm. And that's about taking care of yourself, how to be physically active, finding an activity, be it walking or running or cycling or swimming or tennis or karate or Zumba or tap. When is that physical activity you're gonna do that becomes part of your ritual to clear your head, to clear your soul, for you to become recentered again. And those are the things that I want for my kids. And that's the things that we're working on and we're doing at Girard College because my kids deserve it. Every kid deserves it. Every kid in America deserves it. And I fight really hard to make sure that they get what they deserve.